girl Melissa. Welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, I'm on here on Sundays. I only get one day a week to do this. It's all the time I have, but I do appreciate when you pop in. So please like and share. And I would love for you to try this uh, eyeshadow look out today. I found this on YouTube, Hot and Flashy. She had this wonderful video on a cool tone pink spring look. And so I thought I would try it with products that I already have. Um, not necessarily the palette that she used, but I did find colors that I thought were comparable to those. And I created this whole look. And yes, my dog is here with me today and he's snoring in the background. So, <laughs> so enjoy the sounds that you're going to hear throughout this video, okay? So if you want to see how I created this, just keep watching. Okay, let's get started. Um, I put together this palette. Now, I'm not even going to use this color here. This color is discreet, so it's not a color that I used in this look, but I did use Gentle, which is a shimmer, and then I did use Astute, and I did use the color Nimble mm -hmm. up here. So, these are more of the cool tone colors, kind of sort of, mm -hmm. that she used in her video, um, and I am going to mm -hmm. use a palette. I found a color that was kind of mm -hmm. light, like the lid color that she did, and it's mm -hmm. in, this is Addiction Palette 6. And that is the color Calm. It's a, it doesn't look like it here, but it has a little bit of pink to it. It's very, very pretty, and it's like a baby pink. So that's what we're going to start off with on our lid. And then we're going to move into, I'm going to use Elegant. Um, she had some other kind of um, color, but it was, be it was beautiful. But I chose Elegant because that's the closest thing I could find to recreating her look. All right, so let's get started. All right, so here we go. <laughs> I'm excited. This is a beautiful look. I'm excited for spring. I love this top. I found it in a little boutique here in Alabama called Vivian Onay. Beautiful clothes. And it's green spring. So it, I thought that this eye look would be perfect with it because the shirt is so bright. And so you can create a very light look just for spring. All right. So the first thing we're going to start with is the color Calm. And we're going to take, this is a deluxe brush by Unique. I love it because it's kind of fat and fluffy a little bit. I like the way it mm -hmm. um, applied to this color. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna get pretty pretty liberal bit of this color here, see on my brush, tap it off. And it's definitely going right on your whole entire lid, right through here, all the way over. And I am gonna bring it up into that crease. Now this is a matte color, so it's really perfect for older eyes. I think it's absolutely gorgeous with this look. It was close to what she had. I tried to emulate what she had. I did not have that palette. I have so many colors here that I can choose pretty much colors that will go with anything else. And if you hear that noise, that is my dog Chief, which is a picture of him that my <laughs> a friend of mine did for me of him. And he's always pretty much where I'm at when I'm home. Now we are gonna bring this down into the inner corner just to brighten up that area too. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. So, so, so pretty. Let's put a little, let's pack it on. Now she packed it on both sides of the brush. I guess that's easier. If you just wanna keep continuously adding color, you can just flip the brush around, but I like to add as I go. <laughs> That's your personal preference, okay? It's your personal preference. That is such a pretty color, and it really does brighten up the lid. Okay, let's move on to the next color we're gonna use, which is Nimble. And I'm gonna use this brush here. This is a Jacqueline Hill uh, JH34 brush. It's a carved crease brush. I love it. I have small eyes, and this really, really, really does the job that I need it to do, uh, especially in the crease or above my crease, this is gonna be a beautiful color. Now we're gonna take Astute. Do, 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 do. I love Astute, it's so pretty. Now you can just pack this color on, tap it off. Got a good liberal bit on here. And we're gonna, first of all, just start putting it right here in the corner. And then we're going to bring it. Then here's the bone of my eye. Now I have hooded eyes. Your eyes are totally different, so you'll have to practice how this might work for you. But brushes are really key uh, when you're doing this type of uh, application. And I'm just packing the color on here, and I'm gonna bring it up, and I'm gonna bring it right along the bone. Now, if you need to lift this up to get to the bone area, mine's right there. Um, I don't, they're not quite as crepey, I'm sure, as they're gonna get uh, as I age, because right now I'm 57, so, 
I'm still kind of experimenting. Every day is a different challenge. You know what I'm saying? With your eyes, it is. Let's grab a little bit more color. This is so pretty. Let's pack it on here again in the corner. And I'm just kind of, the key, the light thing I love about this brush here is it actually will let you kind of um, blend it as you go. <laughs> so that's key. That's one reason I love this brush. And you, I found these at Ulta. And then I had a customer of mine give me a whole entire set. So I have been religiously using these. Although I do love unique brushes, I have um, uh, It's Cosmetic brushes that I love too. So just kind of build this color though. You see how very light it is? This is what struck me with the uh, eye tutorial that she did. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Now I am bringing it in just a little bit in my inner corner, but not all the way. I'm kind of stopping like right in that area. But build a color and get it exactly where you want it. And what I'm gonna do after I've added this, we're gonna come back and we're gonna add the color Calm. So I'm gonna grab my deluxe brush again. Uh, my deluxe brush is this one. And we're gonna come back into this color Calm. And I'll take a little bit of it, tap it off, and where I'm going to run it right underneath here. Just a little bit of color through there to just lighten up that area. See how pretty that is? Oh my goodness. And it's got that little pink hue. So it's really, I just want to kind of run it up, kind of meet that where I put it right here on the inner corner and just run it around. I don't think she did that. But that's the way I like to do my eyes. And then I'm going to come back and grab a little bit more astute on my brush. And you can roll your brush in the color and then tap it off. But we're going to basically just come slightly up into what I just added. I want to blend and marry the two colors together. Oh my goodness, this is so darn pretty. I'm so glad I caught her tutorial. Sometimes I miss some of hers. There's so many different YouTubers that I watch and learn from. Um, but she's close. We, she and I are the same age, so I really kind of gravitate toward her because <laughs> our faces are kind of, you know, the same age. So that's how it works. You go on and you find somebody uh, with great technique that is your age and you go for it. And all you can do is try it, okay? That's all you can really do. All right, so we're going to go on and we're going to add a darker color. Oh, I'm really liking that. That's really pretty. All right, so we're going to leave that like that. If I need to come back and touch it up, I will. Now we're going to add a little darker color. We're going to come in with Nimble. I like Nimble because Nimble is a cool tone and it'll look really pretty with pinks. And I'm going to use this brush here, which is my uh, It's Cosmetics. Uh, it's, it's a crease brush, but I think it's number 105. It's either 105 or 102. The number's off of it, so it's hard to tell. Um, they put the numbers on these so light. It, they're very hard to read anyway when they have the silver handle. But get a little bit of color on the end. Tap it off. And you're going to bring this right in the corner. And you're going to just draw a line upward. And, I, and bring it back a little bit into your lash line and then up. And all you're doing is really darkening the crease, giving it a little definition. The only reason I like to do that is because it gives me a little bit of lift and my eyes are not so, see this one's very downward turned if you look at it. So I do have downward turned eyes, um, naturally I do. My daddy had them and I have his eyes uh, or eye shape. I kind of sort of look just like him, so <laughs> hence I look, I have the same eye shape he does. So bring this in just a little and then push it back upward toward, I would always gear it toward the end of your brow right here, the brow tail. And then we're just going to kind of blend this out. I'm packing the colors, what I'm doing. Packing the color in with this little bitty brush. It's perfect for that. All right, so then we're going to take uh, another It's Cosmetics brush. And I'm not sure the number on this one either because it's gone. But it is a it is a fluffy crease brush. I love it. And it's actually their blending brush. I think it used to be 107, but don't quote me on that. But you're just blending this color right up into astute just to give you some depth in this outer corner oh it's so pretty see that and it's so light it's so light and you believe me you can do this look you can do this look i know you can 
spring is coming pack on a little more if you think you need a little more and grab the crease brush i mean the fluffy blending brush again and just blend it out and make it really soft soften the edges my boy cheese still making noises ain't he people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he good at that now we're going to add some shimmer you know you love shimmer you gotta have a little bit of shimmer you see i added it right here only on this inner lid and about halfway up this brush here is a morphe brush it's a morphe m321 uh this is the first time i've used it and i'm not quite sure exactly what it's for but i did like it how it applied here in the inner corner so this is the color gentle and yes gentle is like pink it's very iridescent it's very very beautiful on the eye and you don't need much okay so i'm gonna the reason i like this brush is i like the way the handle is look how thin it is on the end it's very easy to hold it grabs the color well see the color and i'm coming in this inner corner and I'm just going to kind of pat. I don't ever swipe colors that have shimmer across my lid. I do pat them on. So, depending on your level of crepiness, you know, you be mindful of that. I always am mindful of it. I'm going to grab a little more. Tap it off on my hand. And we're going to come back and add a little more. Because I do want this shimmer to kind of stand out. And we are bringing it in the inner corner and up about halfway i mean you could bring it all the way if you want i really think this is gorgeous this is one of my favorite eyeshadows i have it see the shimmer that's on my face it's this eyeshadow it comes down my nose i put it down my nose too um it is very versatile and i use it a lot i do i have a spare one and i have one that's almost empty that i use just strictly for my face <laughs> <laughs> so it's multiple use and that's the that's the key when you're working on your face sometimes you you need multiple use products this this one here will go a long way all right so the next thing that she did add was just a little bit of i need to bring this in the corner just a tad more it looks like it needs a little help right there i want a little shim shim there we go open it up girl there oh that's so and the next color that we're going to add is called Elegant. Now, she used something totally different. Let's see how pretty that is. Oh, girl. This is really pretty, too, on your lips. You can use this as a highlight as well. It is a, uh, a, a splurge cream shadow by Unique. It already has primer built into it. This is one of my favorite colors uh, to use in the summertime. But it's also very beautiful for the spring. Think of golden eggs. It's golden. And what she did was she put it right here in the center of her eye. So that's where I'm going to put it too. I thought it was beautiful. I thought it was a nice effect uh, to kind of blend into the other color. I'm going to add just a tad more. She said, you don't need much. And she was probably using something that was more highly pigmented than what I'm using. But, oh, how pretty is that? It just gives it a nice little shim all the way across. Now, I am going to come back and add just a little bit of nimble. So I did on the other side. So if you go over too far, or feel like you have, just blend this color right into that elegant or whatever color you choose to use. This is so pretty. Now I am gonna go ahead and run a little bit of Nimble underneath my eye while we're working on this. Right through here, just a little. Now we are gonna use a liner. We're gonna head into the liners. We're gonna head into mascara. Uh, but you know, mascara is like my favorite thing ever. I'm going to bring, just add a little more of this. This is a great brush, by the way, for doing your under eyes, especially if you're older. It's very soft. It doesn't stick to your eye. I absolutely love it. Now I'm going to take this blending brush again and kind of blend those colors that I just added. There we go. Soften it up. This You don't want any harsh lines. This is supposed to be a soft, beautiful Easter look. <gasps> oh, I like it. And now, let me grab my liner and I'll be back. Okay, we're going to use the color purple. Yes, we are. This is the color Passionate. It is uh, by Unique. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful color. Now, these are waterproof. They glide right on. They stay all day. You don't have to worry about these. Now, what I did on this side, I tight lined. So, I'm going to do that on this side. 
Some people are professionals and they don't have to lift their lid, but Lister does. Lister can't do that. I mean, <laughs> I don't know how they do that, but I'm not good at that, okay? So something I'm not good at, I don't think I'm going to practice this. I think I do it pretty well just by lifting up my lid. I know it's a little gross, but it works. It works, see, and that's beautiful. Now we're going to take a little of this and we're just going to glide it right along the lash line. Oh my gosh, I love this color. It's so pretty for spring. Aren't y'all ready for spring? All the things going on right now uh, in our country and around the world, it's kind of scary. So hopefully these videos will help you kind of relax and you can just think about good things. Spring's coming, Easter eggs. Um, we really don't know where things are headed since we're all kind of quarantined at this time. This is, um, I'm filming this in March of 2020. And it, yes, the coronavirus is prevalent in our country right now. Oh, how pretty. But there are some nice distractions that you can do. And one thing is taking care of yourself. So take care of yourself, please. Take care of yourself. Now you do not have to draw a wing like I'm doing. Uh, I really, it's not really a wing. I'm just kind of I like to pull the color out a little bit. So if you do like to pull the color out a little bit um, and you want to smudge it out, you can always take a brush. I'm looking for the, my favorite. It's a Japanese uh, smudger brush. And I got it in a little set from uh, Wally World. And you could definitely take and smudge this out. Now mine, I don't really want to smudge it out, but you could do just like this. I'm just kind of showing you I'm not really doing it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then we're going to bring in another soft taupe color. This is actually one of my favorite. This is an eyeliner, but I use it as a lip liner too. Lip liner is, is gorgeous as a lip liner, especially with a, like a new color lipstick. Wow. It's incredible. So I'm going to take this and it's going to go right down here in my lower lash line, waterline. There we go. How pretty is that? And that just gives you just a little bit of depth. Just a little bit. I know you hear my boy snoring. For those of you who don't know, and maybe this is your first time watching me, my boy Chief is crippled and has been for at least five years now. He's 11 years old. Uh, we He was not originally our dog and he was um, mistreated. And so he can't walk. He has ACL issues on both back legs. So I am his legs. I pick him up. I carry him. And so a lot of the people that follow me on Facebook, they, they love him. And I do lots of videos sometimes with him because he is a silly boy. And, <laughs> but sometimes it's really sad, you know, that he can't get up and go and do. I bought him a wagon. I take him on walks. He can't walk, but I walk for him. So, yeah, I am a dog lover, so, <laughs> and I love his picture there. I love to see his picture behind me. It makes me happy. Now, check that out. Do, you, do I need to come back and touch up anything, you think? I might touch up just a little bit of a stoot, which is what we started with, uh, is our little transition color. Let me just lightly bring a stoot in here. Might have blended that out a little too much. I do love this color. It's a very warm color. Now, when you're using, when you're choosing colors for your transition color, you want it, You don't. You want to go at least like one shade darker than your um, your skin tone. You could go two shades darker. I wouldn't go more than two. Okay, I wouldn't do more than that. So let's do uh, the mascara on this side. Now I'm using our lash primer, Unique's lash primer. Um, I love Unique products. I really do. I love their mission. I love sharing all the makeup of course i do i do incorporate other other kinds too as well but i have so much unique it's just hard to go and purchase a whole lot more makeup i wouldn't have anywhere to put it number one <laughs> i'm already need more space as it is so but this is a lash primer i've been using this one for a while um, this really does help condition your lashes, and if you've never used a primer, I would recommend you try it. It's, it's really good for your lashes. It, it helps your lashes to, um, when you go to put on your mascara, it's going to look thicker, and it's going to stay longer, and I don't know, it's just beautiful. You can wear it white if you want to. You could probably do that at Halloween, have white lashes or something. <laughs> But then I let this set for just a few minutes, uh, not not too long, till it gets a little bit tacky. But 
for time's sake, I won't do that today. We'll go ahead and this is my 4D. I love 4D Fiber Lash Mascara. Uh, the fibers are built into this. This is what I have on this side over here. A lot of times when it's starting to dry, I will push on it like that and it actually gives it more curl. This inside is already dry and you can see it, it has a great staying power. None of the fibers will fall on your face, so don't worry about that. So let's go ahead and try to add some of, of this gorgeous, look at this brush. This brush is, yeah, I call it a fat brush, but it's got a flat side to it. And sometimes I can find, there it is. <laughs> and you want to take the flat side and come right underneath and kind of jiggle and roll. Jiggle and roll it. And that's how you get it at the base of your lashes to get it started. And I know I'm going over my nose. I always do. I know it's not the proper way to do the mascara. <laughs> but I did that obviously as a kid. And it's kind of stuck with me, okay? I can't help it. I can't. It's just the way I do things. And sometimes, yeah, I do get it on my nose or whatever, but that's okay. It, it it will come right off with a spoolie. Let it dry and it will come right off. Now, I absolutely love to put this on and then I let it sit um, for a few minutes and then I will add a second coat. There we go. So, there's one coat. I'll be back in a second after I'm doing the second. Oh my, this is the finished look. Isn't it gorgeous? How simple and easy is this? Look at that, how pretty. I absolutely love this. I'm gonna be wearing this a lot this spring. Um, this can go with so many different looks. It's so light and I think it's very flattering for the older eyes. I do. I really, really like the way this turned out. So, uh, also on my lips, uh, some of you may be wondering what is on her lips? Um, I used the color pouty. This is a lip liner. And then I took uh, this white pencil, which is an eyeliner called Pristine. And I lined my lips, filled in sides, put this in the center of my lips to give my lips a little bit more of a pouty look. And then I took the color, this is lovable. This is a lovable pink soft light uh, lipstick. I mean, lip gloss is so, so pretty. Love it. And so if you want, I'll put everything that I've used down in the description box below. And I so appreciate you um, always popping in and supporting me. I love what I do. I know the times right now are kind of scary, but hey, we're going to all get through it together. Absolutely. So I'll see you uh, next Sunday. I'm always on here on Sundays. Please like and subscribe. If you think this might be of value to someone else, please share it. I would love for you to do that. All right. I'll see you later.